So thank you to everyone that checked out my video on ChatGPT. This video that you're seeing on the screen now is one of the most popular videos that I've launched here. So thank you so much. There's a question that I received on the, in the comment section that I wanted to address because I wasn't quite sure of the answer. The question is, what if all students in the same class use ChatGPT to generate an essay on the same topic? Will it generate different results? Well, I wasn't quite sure. Let's go ahead and find out. So the prompt I'm going to use is this one, write an informative essay on the life of William Shakespeare. So using ChatGPT, I was able to do this four different times. These are the results. To kind of give you a general idea, what I found was that while some of the information was the same, the way that ChatGPT was able to generate it made it seem like it was a unique document each time. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first attempt. So here is attempt number one. The prompt is right over here on the screen. So if you take a look at our document, you can see that Microsoft Word, at least for attempt one, gave this a score of 100%. If I click on my document stats, this will show me that it took about 300 to 400 words, 2,000 characters, and you'll notice at the bottom that it has a Flesh Kincaid score of a 10.1. So that's the introduction to attempt number one. I'm going to bring up attempt number two on the right-hand side of the screen. I know it's a little hard to see, but as you can tell if you look at both writing attempts, attempt number two begins similar, but it's worded different enough to avoid any copying or any plagiarism. So now when I bring up my editor score, you'll notice that it's at a 97%, not quite 100%, but still pretty good. It was able to bring up two refinements, but as you know, if you've ever used editor before, some of these may not be applicable. Now I do want to go bring up the document stats to give you an idea of this one. You can see that this one is over 400 words, 2,000 characters, and is written at a similar readability average. So now let's take a look at attempt number three. Okay, so if I bring up the document stats for this one, it is at 96%. It's knocked down a little bit due to grammar and conciseness. This one is around the same length, a little longer than attempt number two, and this one is actually written at a little bit of a higher reading level. So again, a lot of the information on these three documents were similar, but it is biographical information, which of course is just going to be similar in nature. The way that it was able to phrase everything is a little bit different, and ChatGPT was also able to add some additional facts in some of these attempts and not others. So here is my fourth and final attempt. Now you'll notice that I kind of changed the prompt just a little bit to see if that would give us a different essay. What I found is that it really didn't. This one is very similar to the other three attempts. Okay, and let's take a look at our editor. It is at 100%, so it wasn't able to find some of the smaller errors that were in attempts two and attempts three. If you look at the document stats, this one a little bit shorter than the other two versions in readability. But again, everything is very similar in terms of length and the level of readability. So going back to my question, if an entire classroom of students use ChatGPT to generate this essay, would each one of them be different? For the most part, yes. It seems like if you try to generate an essay using the same prompt, while the information might be the same, ChatGPT is going to go through and word it that makes it seem like it's an original essay. So if you're a teacher, this is definitely something to keep an eye on. But anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. It was kind of an experiment to see what happens when we generate the same prompt multiple times in ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't checked out ChatGPT, you can find it at chat.openai.com.